Is Apex Legends finally dying? I'm sure you've all been hearing about how Apex isn't doing so hot, and I'm also sure none of you have been playing Apex, so why are we all confused about why it's not doing well? But for real though, what exactly is the reason we've all stopped playing? With all the new content we've been getting the past couple of weeks, it should be at an all-time high, right? But instead it's actually quite the opposite. So let's take a minute to talk about why Apex is in danger, but that might be a good thing. It's no secret that Apex viewership is at an all-time low. Dozens of longtime creators are branching away from their typical content and leaving Apex in the dust, but why? Well, it could be because they don't have a cool new setup from FlexiSpot to compete with everyone else. Whoa, it's real-life DevSquit for the first time in forever! Today we're gonna be doing a quick setup flex. You will not comment that I look like shit. Whoa. FlexiSpot sent me this chair and table so I can degen editing in style. They sent me this pretty cool ergonomic desk chair in a beautiful shade of gray. Everyone's favorite color. It's super nice and quite comfortable. And did I mention how pretty it is? It does all the stuff you want a chair to do, like go up and down. He doesn't really like it when it does that though. But my favorite thing is being able to lean back so I don't ruin everyone's eardrums when I yell. They also sent me their L-shaped dual motor standing desk and this thing's pretty sweet. Not only does it look cool, but it stands up to 48 inches. My back is very grateful. And if you've never had a standing desk before, let me just say, you'll never be able to use a normal desk again. They also sent me some pretty lights, so my desk looks cuter than me. If you want to get a setup as epic as mine, I linked my chair and desk in the description below, and thank you FlexiSpot for sending me some cool stuff. Now let's get back to business. The reason creators are leaving Apex is probably because of these two little indie games right here. Oh fuck, no, 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 the, These two, these two. The Finals and Fortnite. If you told me back in 2019 that Apex would die a slow, painful death to Fortnite, I probably would have said you're probably right. And that's the reality today and no one's surprised. Fortnite has released more content in two weeks than Apex has released in two years. They dropped a new season with fucking Peter Griffin, a whole new map, a bunch of new weapons, an Eminem concert, the weekend collab, brand new movement animations, oh and did I mention three entire games inside of another game? Lego Fortnite could have dropped as an entirely separate full price game and no one would have complained but instead Fortnite really just said nah fuck that we're adding Minecraft 2. And Apex's response is oh yeah, here's the best game mode from Halo Reach, but kind of worse. Like, bro, you, you can't compete with Minecraft 2. And isn't Epic Games in like a ton of debt, but they're still releasing all this crazy content? Like, like, well, what's your excuse, Apex? You, you took a page or a Minecraft book and you're just used to getting away with the bare minimum, but now you actually have to try and it's a problem or something? Like, I don't know, man. Oh, and apparently Warzone dropped a new season too, but I didn't know people still played that, so. Now, aside from Apex's usual competition, a new challenger approaches. The finals has been absolutely slapping Apex silly since it was officially released. There's finally a new outlet for all of the button mashing movement players to get their urges out, but from what I know, you can't use third party scripts in the finals, so I'm sure most of them will come back at some point. Now, the finals look sick, I really enjoyed the beta, but I'm just worried that Apex is going to indirectly kill it. Concert or gameplay wise, I'm, I'm not stressed at all because Apex can't even keep up with Roblox. I'm just worried that all the Giga Sweat movement players from Apex are gonna migrate to the finals and the game is gonna get so sweaty off rip that no new players are gonna wanna play because they just get stomped by the ultra sweats. It's the same thing that happened to Hyperscape and sadly the finals has SBMM so just be careful of that. I don't think it's Apex level where they're like, oh fuck, this guy got top 30 and died quick, put him in ASUS lobby. But it's it's still just sad to see SBMM in my opinion. With Apex's competition really stepping up, people are starting to realize just how starved of content Apex really is. Even when we get new stuff, it's usually just paid skins. And now that we're finally getting real gameplay content for basically the first time ever, it's not really up to par with what other games release almost monthly. With all these games fighting for your attention, a lot of Apex's flaws really get highlighted and it's pushing players away, hence why Apex has a lower viewer count than the worst reviewed game of all time on Steam. So what exactly is wrong with Apex? Well, a lot. The MNK versus controller war is raging more than ever, SBMM is in a terrible state once again, ranked as borderline unplayable for anyone who goes outside, and the game is just incredibly unbalanced. I don't understand how Respawn let the input wars get so bad. I personally play on MNK, but I think both inputs have major issues. I really don't think it's a hot take to say that on PC, MNK should be stronger than controller. I don't have much input for the console side of things because I don't play console anymore, but you guys have your own lobbies, so be quiet. 
With how much emphasis the devs place on Apex being competitive, I really think MNK should universally be a stronger input, at least for entertainment value. You can't tell me MNK gameplay is not infinitely more interesting to watch than Roller, and before you say, well, Use his controller and his movement is crazy and he's just, yeah, I'm gonna suck his dick. Shut up! Okay, they're using cheats. They aren't as good as you think. I'm probably gonna get flamed for talking about this like I always do, but my point is, as a competitive spectator sport, I think MNK is not only harder to use, but also just more interesting to watch when people aren't cheating. SBMM is also pretty terrible again somehow. At the beginning of the season, I felt like it was getting better, but as time went on, it just got worse and worse to the point where I don't really want to play anymore. I've been having a pretty good time on Fortnite because I don't feel like I have to sweat my balls off to have a good time, but that's probably because I play no build, but you missed me with that building nonsense. Oh, and Ranked fucking sucks again too. I was unsure how to feel about it, but I can confidently say now that Ranked is ass. It takes like a hundred plus hours just to reach the rank the game thinks you should have been in the first place. And with the MMR system, if the game thinks you're diamond, but places you silver, you're just gonna fight diamonds anyway. So ranking up is way harder. And with these stupid mini games you have to win to rank up, I'm pretty sure all of you have experienced winning a game right before your challenges start just to lose the next five and have to restart. Yeah, the time commitment required not even to reach your peak, but your normal rank is just too much and I don't even want to play anymore. Oh, I mentioned balanced is scuffed right now too, but let me sum it up for you in like one second. Will Apex ever recover from these record low player numbers? Well, that depends on if Respawn is willing to put in the effort to bring people back. All this competition for Apex might actually turn out to be a good thing because this means Respawn is going to have to do more. And it seems like they might actually be trying. Despite how off guard it caught me, the new Final Fantasy collab seems pretty cool. Me won every Scottish person sounds like Horizon. Yo! I think if Apex makes an effort to appeal to a wider audience outside of the hardcore Giga Sweat competitive players, they might re-enter those daily discussions of what should we play? Doing more collabs, in-game events, fun game modes, and just more content is going to do wonders for Apex. I think if they took a page out of Fortnite's book and stopped focusing on making the game feel super competitive, they would see much greater returns as most people don't play competitively. Focus on making the game fun before making it competitive. I don't care if they add some like super OP items so long as it's fun to use, Respawn needs to mix things up more often and add more weapons or gimmicks or something. They could cycle loot like Fortnite to keep each season feeling more fresh or do a bi-weekly balance change to constantly shift the meta or just something to keep the game from being use X gun with X character every game to send a chance at competing with everyone else who is using X gun or X character. They really need to add more stuff that shakes up the game like when they made all armor Evo or removed cap strafing for 20 minutes. That's why I'm looking forward to them adding the new perk system because assuming they do it right, it can make things feel fresh again. Some improvements to the battle pass might be nice too, the only reward ever worth getting is the reactive skin, and Garrett had a good idea. If they love recolors so much, just throw some of them in the battle pass instead of charging $20 for a skin you already own in a new shade of brown. Like, I, I don't know. I'm excited to see what Respawn does to bring people back. There's a lot they could do, and I think with this newfound competition, we might finally get to see some of it. But at least, worst case scenario, if Apex actually dies, we can all pay our respects as Peter Griffin in Fortnite. If you enjoyed this video, you should check out this other one because the algorithm loves that and it would make Daddy Dad Scoy very happy. Love you. Bye.